welcome to my channel. So today I'm coming to you with my pull it out, put it to use collaboration video. This is week seven and I'm going to jump into the items that I use. Really the primer that I use for my face was the Milani Prime and Shield. This is the mattifying and pore minimizing version. It's like that. And for foundation, I did use the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte and Pro Glow in the color Cocoa and I just mixed the two of them. I really like them so much like that mixed together. Um, for my eyebrows, I did use my ColourPop pencil in the color Bangin' Brunette. I don't know why I always forget to take that out. Oh, this one right here. And then to clean up my brows, I used Chestnut and the Maybelline Fit Me in Cafe. Oh wow, I'm almost seeing like some type of clearness on this. I didn't notice that, but I'm almost being able to see through the package, so that's a good thing. I'm trying to use these items up. Uh, under my eyes, I use the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Cream. And this is in the color Rich. I use that to like conceal and highlight underneath. And then to set it, I did use the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder, Loose Face Powder in Naturally Neutral. Um, what else? Let's go into... What was this? This was for my lid. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Toffee. And I use this for like um, taking out any discoloration and priming my eyelid so that I could put my shadows on. And I set it with the same Cody Airspun um, powder. So on my eyelids, <clears throat> I have, I pulled out a new palette and I did pull out kind of an oldie. Both of them from Juvia's Place. So I did use this palette and the Nubian 2. This is the Masquerade palette. For my transition area, I use this color Fulani, which is right here. This is Fulani. And then in the crease and kind of another transition color, I use Ada or Ada. This one right here. And let me see what else. Then for my lid color, I use Cairo. This is so pretty. It's like an orange with these yellow glitter or reflex. And I think it's glitter. But it's really small, fine pieces of glitter. So it's not um, chunky or anything like that. It's really smooth going on. And then I use the Nubian 2 palette for the outer V color. And that was the color Jezebel right here. And I'm so happy to have this Masquerade palette. I really am loving the colors in it. And everything just blends in really well. Plus, it's pink. OMG. <laughs> like, that's another thing. I was, at first, I was like, mm, I don't want to go ahead and just go and get it. But I was like, it's so pretty. So I got it. Um, I did use some lashes. I used these Kiss Looks So Natural Shy Lashes. And this is the package. I did have to trim them a little bit. They were kind of long, so I did that. Then to blend my lashes in with the fake lashes, I used the Revlon Volume Plus Length Magnifying Mascara. And I use this because the wand on it is just a nice size. So that's what made me use this one. And I would use this again for blending in my um, fake lashes and my real lashes. For the bottom, I use the CoverGirl Super Size of Fiber uh, Mascara. And I used the It Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Gel Eyeliner Pencil, which I received in my Ipsy bag for August. I used this to tight line, and I also used it on my waterline. And that's in the color black. And then on my face, to set my face, I used the Black Radiance Soft Focus Finishing Powder in Milk Chocolate Finish. And that's that. To bronze my face, I use the Black Radiance Cafe Press Powder. And then for contouring, I use the Maybelline New York Master Contour by Face Studio Medium to Deep Contour Color, which is right there. And for highlighting, because I was just having a ball. <laughs> so I use the ColourPop Super Shock, Super Shock Cheek Pearlized in the color Avalon. Avalon. And it's really pretty. Very pretty. 
Then I was like, that's so subtle. So I want to go ahead and use something else. So on top of it, I put Butterfly Beach. And this is another pearlized color. So I put this one on top. And for my inner tear duct area, I use the K-Pop Sunset Boulevard Super Shock Shadow. And that's what it looks like. And what else can I tell you about my look? Um, I think that is it for my lips. That's the last thing, what I put on my lips. I went ahead and pulled out my Lorac 20th Anniversary um, case. And the color I used from here was, let me see, these two. Dominatrix. So the lipstick, it's a highly pigmented lipstick and they're matte. They're very comfortable matte. And I didn't even notice that it has this on the side. It says Exo Carol Shaw and then it says Lorac right there as well. And then that's the color right there. Real pretty. Like a dark vampy color. And then I use the gloss that goes with it. This is the highly pigmented lip gloss in Dominatrix. And these are really creamy and just so nice going on. So I wanted to pull out some things. And that is all the items I used in my pull it out, put it to use um, video. Sure you there know. are five of us, and the other four ladies are Shade 3179, IFY, Diva's House, Cupcakes and Makeup, and Justinetta. So please go ahead and support the other ladies' videos and make sure to subscribe and comment. Bye.